But the girl Hannah and Marciano, like, and they're delusional. I don't, this is not big enough. Happy Friday. <laughs> For those of you who are new, my name is Andrea. My friends call me E and welcome to my channel. So here we like to do lifestyle content, travel vlogs, home ownership vlogs, and everything in between. So thank you for viewing me. <laughs> thank you for coming to my little piece of YouTube. And today we're getting started with a weekend vlog. Uh, Y'all like, I've been a little emotional this week. Um, this week has gone by really, really fast. So Monday was Memorial Day weekend. It was good to have off. Tuesday, Dallas got hit with a very, um, a really bad storm. I'm gonna actually put the alert that I got at like 5.53 in the morning on Tuesday. I'm gonna put that on the screen. Um, so I actually woke up, my friend and I were supposed to be going to the gym at 6.30 and she texted me like, hey, I'm up and moving. I'm like, yeah, but this alert, uh, what's good with this? So pretty much the world was just, the sky was falling, right? Like my power went out at 6.03, I think is what the app said. So my power was out Tuesday and Wednesday, um, before I went to sleep Wednesday night, um, I checked uh, to see if my power was on because I ended up staying at a friend's house Wednesday night. I checked to see if the power was on, it was not on. Thursday when I woke up, I checked and the power was on. So yeah, I didn't have, a, I didn't have power. Um, and so I think that kind of played a role in the week just going by so fast. And yesterday I was like, oh my goodness, is it Thursday again? So yeah. But it's Friday and we are on our way to the grocery store because we have a grocery list. Thankfully, I did not go grocery shopping before my power went out because I would have been hissed if all my stuff had to go in the trash. But I literally threw away like some turkey bacon and some ground turkey and I think like one other thing. And I was like, whatever, charge it to the game. But we need to go to the grocery store and we need to fill up um, because we have nothing to eat. I've been eating fast food for days and it's terrible. I feel terrible. I feel dehydrated. I just, I feel so out of sync right now. And it's crazy because in May, one of my goals was no fast food. And I promise y'all like ever since like I went home or right before I went home, that's when I've been eating fast food like crazy. So I don't feel good. I don't feel like myself. My back is bothering me. I'm not getting my steps in. I'm not getting everything that I know I need to be getting, I'm not getting. So this we're using as a reset. We'll be ready for tomorrow, June 1. We're starting a clean, fresh slate. Uh, we're getting back on no fast food, no extra desserts and sugar and cakes and pies and ooh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> sounds so delicious but no dairy we getting back on it so yeah we need to go to the grocery store and pick up some stuff and my bathrooms are let's just say that they are 90 percent finished both of them but today was my contractor's last day here he's gonna come back and finish up some things but everything that i pay for is done so you have to be subscribed to my channel so that you can see that makeover, that before and after, the full experience. So yeah, but because of that, we are now ready to clean the house from top to bottom. So I have to reclean my bathrooms. Um, no, I have to reclean my bedroom. Um, I have a video, I'll link it above, where I started my spring cleaning and I started with my bedroom where we have to redo everything. 
and we're washing floors, we're dusting blinds, we're doing it all from top to bottom. Um, I said I was gonna get somebody in here to do some cleaning. We'll see how my bedroom goes um, before I before I do that. Cause I, I do wanna try um, a maid service to come in and clean. Um, but right now I just want, I do want to start with my bedroom and I want to wash my floors and yeah. And, and honestly, it's not that dirty because before, um, Marcus and Lana came, I cleaned again. So it's not that dirty, but I never did my floors. So I am looking forward to mopping my floors. So we need to buy a mop because all I have is my Swiffer and we need to buy a real mop so that we can get in there. Mm-hmm. And I want to eat something. Um, I think I'm gonna just buy something from the store. I've been feeding some bolognese and um, I gotta eat it today or we're not eating it next month because it has dairy in it. Yeah, I didn't know that till I looked up the ingredients and I was like, oh, there's milk in it. So we gotta eat it today or not. But I think I'm just gonna grab something from the grocery store while we're out. And speaking of groceries, Y'all, I looked at how much money I spent eating out last month. $500. $513. That's ridiculous. Now, in my defense, I did travel. I did go home. And y'all know I love crawfish. So, we... we I always have the budget and the money for crawfish. So let, let that be point number one. But the fact that I spent that much money eating out is ridiculous. Especially when I was supposed to be doing no fast food. So some of that went to fast food because I've been eating fast food. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. So we're a budget girly over here. If you're new to my channel, um, we're mindful of what we're spending. We do not promote debt over here. Uh, we promote self-care. We promote healthy lifestyle. Uh, we like to have fun. We like to go out. We like to have a good time, but we're always mindful of our money. We're, we are fiscally responsible adults here. Yeah, yeah especially because we're a homeowner and the way that bills are set up. Mm. Mm. So yeah, let me get going because it is 4.30 and tomorrow is the first. So I have a feeling that the grocery store is about to be packed. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. We got some lasagna for tonight. I got some ground Italian sausage. Um, I figured I can add this to some ground beef that I already have. Um, I got ground turkey. We did not get any turkey bacon. They didn't have any. Um, but we got some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, some tomatoes on a vine, some portobello, no, some ba baby bella mushrooms. Um, I wanted the whole ones, but they didn't look good. Got some bell pepper, tricolor. Got some lime, some avocados, um, meatballs. I like to throw these in the crock pot and just go. Uh, we got a bag side um, Caesar salad. I really like Walmart Caesar salad in a bag. I don't, I don't know if it's the dressing, but I really like this one, so I got that. We got a little bit of spinach some shrimp we always like to have shrimp in the freezer so it was time to re-up i got some apple cinnamon rice cakes if you know i love these in the morning with a smoothie so i got some more of those um we got some mint tea herbal tea we do no caffeine around here uh so this is caffeine free i like to have some salsa with a breakfast um, burrito a cucumber we got some mint um, and some basil as well. Got a pineapple, just a little pineapple. These were like $2, so I was like, yeah, why not? Uh, we got some cherries. Summer is my favorite time of the year. Spring, summer, cherry time. 
Uh, got a couple of grapefruits, a bag of pears. I love, 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 love pears. So I like to get a bag of those. Got some strawberries. Uh, I got some beef broth and some vegetable broth and some ketchup because it was time to re-up. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Oh, and I got a seeded watermelon. So, yep. So that's our grocery haul. Like I said, I didn't get any turkey bacon. They were out. I didn't get any, um, but I think I have, I think I have a package of turkey bacon in the freezer. I need to double check. I didn't get any chicken breast because I didn't like the way it looked. And I didn't get any tortilla rolls because the ones that I like are from Albertsons. Um, and I was like, before I go up there, let me at least put the cold stuff up. Um, when, before I go up there. I don't even know if I'm going to do that tonight or if I want to wait till tomorrow to do that. Because the tortilla roll, I'm, I'm not going to do anything with it tonight. I like to do my breakfast burrito, like I mentioned. And I put the ground turkey in the breakfast burrito. And I don't even know if I have time to do that tomorrow. So we'll probably do that like Sunday for breakfast. I don't know. We shall she. Um, but yeah, it's funny. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I got some sparkling water. It is strawberry sun sunset. It's the bubble. I love this brand. I have not had this in a while. First of all, I've never had this flavor. And so I saw that they had this flavor and they had like a Bellini flavor. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. But I just grabbed this one. I was really looking for like some Perrier, but they didn't have, they were out, I guess, or didn't have any at Walmart. Um, so I just grabbed this. So hopefully this tastes good. Um, since we're not, we don't typically drink soda anyway. So I figured I would grab this, um, and then maybe put some lemon and lime in it or some mint in it to spruce it up. Um, if it's not delicious, but sometimes, you know, you just need that, that carbonation. So we like to do sparkling water for that. So we'll see what this one tastes like. I want to put this over ice. But yeah, I'm about to throw this uh, lasagna in the oven because I haven't eaten today. I told you we not we not on it, but we're getting on it. Oh, and I got a um a thing of water, but that's in the garage. So yeah, we're we're working on hydration. We're working on um, calorie deficit. We're working on eating healthier and greener, and no fast food, no crazy amount of sugar um and budgeting so we spent it says 126 but she charged me twice for something so i had to get a a, re, a return which was four dollars so well it says 127 so minus for 123 dollars not bad so even though today is march i mean march even though today is May 31st, we're going to count this as a June grocery haul, our first haul for June. So, yeah, we're going to keep track of these groceries because I feel like this should last me longer than a week. I feel like this should last me at least two weeks. Yeah, I feel like this should last me two weeks and then I'll go back for a little bit because we have a vacation at the end of the month, actually. So we don't even need to grocery shop a lot in our next. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm jumping the gun. Let me get this um, lasagna in the oven because I am starving, 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 starving. And I'm going to put this food up and then I'll pick up the camera a little bit later. Vanderpump Villa. 
So I've never watched a Vanderpump show, by the way. But I was watching this Villa thing up until probably like, I probably missed like the last four episodes. But I was like, you know what? Let me just watch the reunion because that's going to show me everything I need to know. But the girl Hannah and Marciano, like, and they are just like, I don't even know the word to describe it. They're delusional. That's it. That's the word. They're delusional. Like, yo, like, you can't get a word in. They can yell and say, it's you, it's you, it's you. You're the problem. You're the problem. You can't say anything. You can't say anything because they're going to flip out. Hannah's going to go cry somewhere. Like, it's crazy. And I'm so glad whoever the host is, I'm so sorry. I do not know your name. But I'm so glad he was like, hmm, have you noticed that you're the common denominator? To Hannah, because she is. Like, the nerve of you to talk about Gabriella, and then Gabriella says, Yo, like, you are a disgrace. You are a, disappoint a disappointment. Like, if I were your mom, I would be so disappointed in you to say, Oh, you're talking about my mom? That's not what that statement was about. Like, the whole comprehension is lacking. I am just like, I'm confused. I'm thoroughly confused. I'm thoroughly confused on like her understanding. And the same thing with Marciano, like they are always ready to team up and go against somebody when the other person is in the wrong. But it's just crazy to me how they don't realize that the other person is the one that's in the wrong. Like it's, 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 it's very sick. It's very sick, the, their relationship and how they support each other even when the other person is wrong. Like, I'm one of those people that when you're wrong, you're wrong. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're blood. I don't care if you best friend. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about stuff like that. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And it's okay to be wrong. And it's okay to tell your friend like, nah, bro, like you was wrong in that moment. Like, don't do that again. But they are just like, once they have their mind made up, they just run with it because the other one ran with it. And it's sick. It's given very psycho. And I don't like that. But as y'all can see, I've started cleaning my living room. I said I was going to start with my bedroom because I knew that wasn't going to be hard to clean because it had already been cleaned. But um, I don't know. I just started with my living room. I've started using um, the Swiffer pads. I figured what I would do is do the Swiffer first before we mop. And I did go to Home Depot and I picked up that Cedar Rinse and Clean. Um, it was the same price as the other one. So I went on ahead and I bought this one. So I went on ahead and I bought this one because uh, it keeps the separated, the water, the clean water away from the dirty water. I think that's how it's how it's marketed so yeah i went on ahead and bought that but it doesn't look like i'm getting to that tonight it's 10 30 oh my gosh i think i just saw a mosquito and i don't know where it went but yeah it's 10 30 already and i have to be at this park at 7 15 i don't know if i mentioned it on here but i signed up to do a 5k tomorrow um if you don't know i used to run when I was in San Diego. Like I kind of picked up running. Um, I ran a 5k and I've, um, I've run a couple of 5k's actually trained. I ran a half marathon before. Um, I did the half marathon in Vegas for rock and roll. Um, and so tomorrow I signed up for a 5k. I do not run anymore for real, for real. Like I stopped running like around COVID time. Um, only because my knees, I'm old, they hurt. <laughs> so I typically don't run, uh, but I did run a 5K like what, last month? I think that was last month and I ran one and it was slow, but I ran it the whole time. Um, so tomorrow I'm supposed to be running a 5K or I might just walk it, I don't know, I haven't decided. We'll see what I feel like in the morning. Uh, but yeah, we gotta be at the park by 7.15. It doesn't start till 8, though. So I was like, what? I got to be there at 715. But luckily, the park is only about 15 minutes from me, I think. Um, hopefully. 
because the road that I would take to go there is closed because of the storm. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll probably take y'all with me. I'll probably just vlog from my phone, actually. So we have that to do in the morning. So I don't want to be up all night cleaning um, these floors. So my plan is to just do the, um, the prep work tonight and then tomorrow evening uh, to actually use the mop and actually wash my floors out here in the living room uh living room and kitchen um is the area that we're going to be focusing on but yeah i'm just going to go back to finish watching this reunion go back to cleaning vacuuming swiffering <laughs> all of the prep work so did our 5k this morning i inserted some clips before here but um yeah we showered brushed our teeth washed our face got dressed i just threw on this little baby doll dress i haven't worn this in years i feel like and just some shoes some sandals with some pearls on it i got these from target um i think last spring um and then i added this brooch i thought this was cute i've never worn this but i've had it for years I don't know, I just threw it on and then some, and then I added these little hoops since I can't find any of my stud pearls. Like, what is up? I don't know, but I gotta go. It's almost 10 o'clock and we have to get to McKinney and I think it's an hour drive. So, let's go. much 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 later <clears throat> um after the recital you know all of us went to starwood cafe up in mckinney there's some starwood cafes all over the dfw area which i think their food is pretty good but we went there um and just chatted and ate and then um i came on home um, my little cousin did have another, like a ballet recital, but baby, I was done. I was so tired. Keeping in mind, I ran that 5k this morning. So finally made it home. We did, I did hit some really bad weather on the way in, but thank God I made it home. And first thing I did was change and take a nap. I was exhausted. So it's almost nine o'clock. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this late, but I'm cooking dinner. I'm making, um, what is it called? Hold on. It's one of the meals from my fast, metabol fast metabolism diet that I've done before. So this is the pasta, pasta and simmered tomato meat sauce. So, It has everything you can think of. I have ground turkey in there, some zucchini, mushrooms, onions, garlic, 
um, bell pepper, scallions, um, what else? Uh, tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, tomato paste, vegetable broth, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm doing the brown rice noodles. So, yeah, that's what's for dinner. That's what we eat. Because it's still, it's the first of the month. So, I'm being Hayes. Um, because that Starwood Cafe, I definitely had some pancakes and eggs and bacon. And I really shouldn't have had those pancakes. Especially with that syrup, but whatever. I needed something. I needed, I needed something, but yeah, I don't have anything planned for the rest of the night. I didn't do any cleaning like I was supposed to. So if I have the energy for it, I think the only thing I'm going to do is wash clothes tonight. So I don't have to do that tomorrow. And wash dishes tonight. So y'all got a new dishwasher. I don't, I don't think I've highlighted that, but I bought this dishwasher hmm, back in February, I think, but I didn't have anybody to hook it up. So I, um, I waited until my contractor hooked it up. So this is what it looks like. It's a whirlpool. The only thing is that the controllers are up here. So, like, you have to open it to see the controllers. But, yeah. Still got the tags in it and the styrofoam on it. So, yeah. The things about being an adult and a homeowner. I guess I need to learn how to use it, but I really need to wash dishes. I can't tell you the last time I cooked. Well, that's a lie. I made a steak last week, but I have not washed dishes. I know, I know, I know. It's disgusting, but with no power, like everything just went went to crap. That's literally how my life has been, but. Rest of the month, we getting it together. Trying to be successful. And that's all that's going on right now. Tomorrow we're going to get up and go to the gym. Tomorrow we're just work, walking on the treadmill. It's an active rest day. And then Monday we're going to hit the weights. So, while my dinner is finished cooking up, let me start separating these clothes and get these in the washing machine. And that'll probably be it for me today, y'all. Like, my energy is just, it's there. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Whew, it's 2 o'clock. And we had a busy morning. Well, first, I didn't get any sleep last night. Y'all, these mosquitoes, they tore me up last night. How, like, if you're in Dallas, Houston area, I don't know about Austin, San Antonio. I don't know about those other cities, but I know Houston and Dallas deal with a lot of mosquitoes. How are y'all surviving at night? Cause they are tearing me up. Baby, I didn't get to sleep till like five this morning. Like I was like in and out of sleep cause I would hear them. I only killed one last night, but I think there was another one in my room. I don't know. I was going to sleep with the uh, uh, mosquito repellent on because I just wanted to get some rest. I was tired. Man, I was struggling. So by the time I got up and made it to the gym, I don't even remember what time it was. It's not important. So went to the gym. We walked our three miles for an hour. Came home. I did some yard work. Um, I tried to aerate my yard this morning with that thing I bought from Amazon. I did that for a little over an hour, um, which was stupid of me because the guy's supposed to come cut the grass like Tuesday. 
and I don't think they're going to treat the yard until Wednesday. I think that's how it's working this week. I don't, I don't know. Let me see if I could pull it up real quick. Um, Tuesday the 4th. Okay, they're going to treat the yard Tuesday the 4th. And then he's supposed to come cut the yard either Tuesday or Wednesday. And he typically comes Tuesday. So I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it's now two o'clock and I haven't showered just yet, but I want to put these dishes in a dishwasher, then hop in the shower. Or, you know what? Let me just hop in the shower first. Cause I just, I'm going through it y'all. I'm going through it. I'm trying to give myself grace and I'm just trying to tell myself, take it a day at a time. Don't stress. Um, but I have a, I have a thing where, you know, I make these to-do lists and I'm like, okay, cool. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. But then I just be so tired. I just be tired. And then when I don't get to what I know I need to do, I get a little bit hard on myself and down on myself. Um, but I'm trying to just like tell myself, you don't have to do it all in the day. It don't all have to be done today. It'll get done. Little by little by little, piece by piece by piece. So that's what I'm trying to tell myself. Um, I wanted to wash my car this morning, but I'm just not in the mood to even deal with that hose out there. I just, I don't feel like it. Um, so we're not going to wash our car. And then I want to start using my bathroom again because it's, it's finished for now. Like there's still some things that he has to come back and do, but um, I have to get those, those things budgeted um estimated and budgeted and all of that stuff so it's time to like reset up my bathroom i have to put the shower curtain back up all my soaps and oils and all of that stuff like um and i want to like wash the stuff because things are still dusty in there um so my plan is to do that today i still have not done my floors and i said that i'm trying to do my floors but like i said it's just so much that i need to do that i just have not gotten to everything yeah, I, I know I need to give myself grace. shower i did eat um i got the dishwasher loaded but i've really just been real chill but it's storming again pouring down raining again oh yo this storming is so annoying this is so annoying. Like, I'm over Dallas in these storms.
Y'all, it feels so weird saying this, but I think my bathroom is too white. Like, the towel is white. The walls will be white. Right now, they're a grayish. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera the color, but the, it's not white. But, like, my shower curtain is white. Everything is just so white. I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> this wall look a little crazy because he ran out of white um, caulk. He only had like this brown caulking left. And the brown is just not a color you need on your walls in a bathroom. Like it just look crazy. about to die and I was just having a hard time with everything so let me catch y'all up on what we've been doing because it's almost 10 o'clock we've washed the floors we did the kitchen the living room my bathroom back here um and then the sink area back here and a little bit of the hallway we have not done my office the spare bedroom and the rest of my bedroom but it's okay um how do I feel about that mop? So that was my first time using that mop and I wasn't really impressed. Like, I feel like, I thought when you wring it out, like it wasn't gonna be as soaking wet as what it is. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I just wasn't, I wasn't getting it. And the fact that I have like the rinse, the clean water one, where you, um, I think the whole point of it was that every time you, dip your the mop back in to the water that is always clean water where well, it doesn't matter because the mop is dirty so yeah that doesn't matter um i got that one because it was the same price as the other one at home depot this past weekend they would both ring it up like 40 dollars, 39 something so i was like all right whatever let me just go ahead and get it i was hoping to snag one of those Clarence Clarence ones, but apparently that's old news. So that's what we got from Home Depot and that's how it went. Yeah, I, I did like the ease of using the mop, um, but I feel like I still had to wring the mop out with my hands. So I'm trying to figure out like what, what that's about. I don't know, maybe I'm not doing something right. Somebody let me know, what am I doing wrong? What What's happening? Because I just feel like the mop is way too wet to still be slugging it on the floor and my floors were just soaking wet but everything's good now uh, we got the dishwasher going i have started putting things in my drawers um back here in my bathroom and some of this stuff i really need to sit down and go through um that wasn't the point when i put everything away but i need to go through some of this stuff because some of this stuff is old expired empty i never got refills so i'm trying to figure out why do i even still have it so i need to sit down actually declutter ugh, declutter some of these um hmm, this got nicked a lot of spot and i'm noticing this as i'm like you know just walking around the house some spots got nicked and so my paint is not it's kind of chipping at some areas. I don't like that. But anyway, 
I need to sit down and actually declutter and go through some of these beauty products that I have because why do I still have these? And then let me show y'all this. Don't mind the dust, but y'all look at this basket. It's just a basket of like travel stuff, like travel size stuff, or maybe some samples that I might have gotten um, through Sephora. Or it could be stuff from like hotels that I've picked up, like this white tea aloe shampoo. Like why I need this? I know I would never use this in my hair. I don't, some of this stuff, I can't tell you how long I've had it, how long it's been sitting in this basket, why I even had some of this stuff. Like, I mean, it's little packets like this. And hourglass veil. Like, bro, I don't know why I have this stuff. Like, this NARS, what is this? Laguna? Bronzing powder. Ooh, like, this is the NARS Laguna. Like, why do I have this? And then, not just one, but two of these. I got so much stuff like this that it's crazy. Long comb. I don't even know what this is. I don't even think this is long comb packaging anymore. And it's stuff that I've never used. So do you throw it out? Like, do you throw it out if it's never been opened? I don't know. What is this? Oh, philosophy. Like some of this stuff, I feel like I shouldn't even open. What is this though? I don't know. Oh, it's an SPF. This actually doesn't smell, but I wouldn't use it. Like I have so many things in here. And then there's another container. What is this? Oh, this has been used. A Tarte bronzer. Hotel Heiress. Like, why do I have this stuff? I have no idea. And I have so many, like, so many things. Here's a conditioner from a hotel. And a sh the shampoo that goes with it and another conditioner, like, I don't even use this stuff on my black hair. Like, but I have so many things. So, stuff like this, I have to like actually go through. Um, here's some more Dermalogica stuff. I used to love Dermalogica, but I stopped using it because um, they use a fragrance. And I try to do skincare without fragrance in it. I don't have sensitive skin, but I just, I just don't want to use fragrance in my, um, in my skincare. Here's some e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brown Brow Cream. I can guarantee you, I've never knew how to use this. I, I, I never knew how to do my brows. Never, never been a skill of mine. Some milk hydro, what? A hydro grip primer? This, this will get used. But yeah, it's just been sitting here. Here's some YSL color bomb. bomb. This, like, and all this stuff is really dusty because it was sitting in my guest room and when he cut into the wall, all the dust went everywhere, whatever, whatever. So don't mind the dust, but but yeah, I got so much like little travel things, little sample stuff, some open, some used, some not so used. Like some of the stuff, I, mm -mm. I used to be a Sephora girl. I used to be. But I told y'all, we are a budgeting girl now. And like this, this, 
what is this? Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Like, it's not dried out. Yeah, it's crazy. Has this ever been used? I don't know. But mascara, I don't play with mascara. This say six months, this need going trash. But yeah, I'm a budgeting girl now, so I don't typically go to Sephora and buy a bunch of things that I know I don't need or just because influencers or celebrities, whomever says, yeah, you need to get this, you need to get this. I'm not that girl, like I, I really am not. I really am not. What's this, um, Sunday Riley? Yeah, I'm really not that girl. I'm not a, let me just spend my money because I have it girl. Like, no, we definitely been prioritizing budgeting and saving. And look at this, Mary Kay. And then I have some shampoo. This can go in the trash. I have a bunch of these. So here's the conditioner and the shampoo and another shampoo. Like, is this another conditioner? Yeah, and another conditioner. Clearly, I used to use this, but yeah, I don't. I got a bunch of Tatcha. This clearly came through Sephora stuff, but yeah. So, just a bunch of stuff. But yeah, it's a bunch of stuff that I never used, never opened, had no reason to get it. Shishado Waso. A hydrating cream. This is so adorable. Look at this. It's so cute. Never been used. Never been used. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do a detailed nighttime routine. First, I start off with flossing my teeth with the regular floss first. And I just find it to not go in with my water pick first. I'll just do this really quickly. It just feels funny. Ever since I got some cavity filled on this side a couple of months ago. Okay. That's done. Now, we're gonna do our water pick um, and do a second round of flossing with the water pick. I use lukewarm water when I do my water pick. And I wanna say it's for four minutes. No, that's not true. It just, until this is empty. That's how long the water pick is. It's not, it's not four minutes, but let's water pick. Before I do that, I'm gonna change my toothbrush head. I change mine once every two to three months, depending. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're traveling a lot, you have not been using your toothbrush. So, yeah, just. I don't think I have any more that are this big, though. Because I think the only ones I have left are the smaller ones. But this water pick is a toothbrush and pick together. If you see on the brush head, that's the water pick part. So, yeah. Next step, time to brush our teeth. All right, I'm using the Cicidon Pro Enamel Intensive Enamel Repair Whitening Toothpaste. I have sensitive teeth, so this is what I use. Got my toothbrush. And this toothbrush is timed. Um, it's four minutes. So they expect you to do, wait, is it four minutes? Or six minutes? Y'all, I don't know. I just brush until the until the toothbrush stops. That's pretty much it for me. So. We are finished with the mouth. Now my favorite part, skincare. All right, what we doing with skincare tonight? 
y'all tell a difference in my skin since my peel? I can like right around here. I feel like it's uh, uh right around here. I feel like it's less texture. All right, since I'm not having any um like active breakouts or anything like that, we will just use our green tea cleanser. Yeah, we'll just use our green tea cleanser, the Vivant. I talked about this in my chemical peel video, but this is what we'll be using. Um, and then we'll go in with our pigment bar, the PCA Skin. And we'll follow that up with the PCA um, Pigment Gel Pro. a makeup brush to put that on. I actually just washed this brush this morning. So yeah, it's clean. Um, and then we'll follow up with some moisturizer. We'll use the Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This isn't the aqua one. This is the other one. We'll follow it up with that and that's our routine and then i'll finish folding these clothes so let's get to it singing on fresh prince of ballet theme song that's how i know a minute has gone by with lukewarm water close to dry to dry my face I never use all right next we're going in with the pro bar it looks like this and so I said the pro bar a pigment bar so what I do is I get my makeup brush a little wet just rub it around a couple times this on my face I think skin FX has something like this and I said I want to try that after I finish this but I have a while if I'm finished with this and this product was like 60 bucks or something like that I got it from my esthetician who did my chemical peel Actually, I had to do this, use this product for two weeks before I could even get my pill. So, yeah. This and the gel that we're gonna follow up with. So, I feel like this is a good amount on. And so you just let that sit for two minutes. So, it's 11, 12. Back and wash this off. All right, so this is what we're looking like after two minutes. Sometimes it's all gone, sometimes it's not. It just depends on how much I put on. So I'm gonna rinse this off with lukewarm water as well. I typically just pat it. I don't. I'm not too rough on my skin. Then I follow up with the gel. Um. So actually, before I put this on, I'm gonna put a little bit of toner on. I only have a little bit left anyway. This is the Polish Choice uh, and Advanced Replenishing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. This is the blue bottle. I need to get some more. I've been meaning to get some more for weeks now. And I haven't. So just put a couple of drops. And put it on my face. Because sometimes my skin feel a little dry in the morning. So I need to concentrate on moisture and this helps. Okay, now I'm gonna get the, the gel. Um, and so you just, 
Use twice daily for maximum results. After cleansing and toning, smooth onto the face, neck, and decollete. As if I don't know that word. <laughs> or affected areas. Um, I typically only use this at night. You can use this in the morning. Um, and then, of course, you follow up with sunscreen. But I typically don't use it in the morning. So I'm going to put on, like, the dark areas around my mouth. And then this guy in the middle of my face still is there. It's just discoloration. And I'll put a little bit on the sides of my cheeks. But I don't really have dark spots right here, but that's what we do. It's okay. So normally I've been using the Cetaphil as my moisturizer. Um, but I said tonight we're going to use the, the Belief. The true cream moisturizing balm this one we'll use this one tonight hopefully it goes well with this because i have never used this with that pro gel but if something like irritates my skin i can pinpoint what did it because i don't just add a bunch of new products at once But I need some moisture, so that's what we're going to do this one tonight. Sundays are my favorite, like, skincare days. I don't know, I just do a little bit more on Sundays. Since it's not too dry in here, we're not going to follow up with an oil, but I am going to use some of this Vaseline Rosy Lips. Put this on my lips. So cute, right? I think I got this from Essence last year, but I just started using it. I'm going to pop in my aligners for my teeth because they were still sitting in the water from when they were clean. I don't like taking them out until I'm ready to just put them in my mouth. I rinse them off and just put them in. And that's it. And that is my skincare routine and nighttime routine. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Don't forget to share, comment, like, all of that stuff below. And I'll see you all in my next one.